My name is Dan Raymer. I am the Chief Operator at the Ithaca Area Wastewater Treatment Facility, located in the city of Ithaca at the heart of the Finger Lakes. Our wastewater treatment plant services the city of Ithaca, the town of Ithaca, and parts of the town of Dryden. This cooperation is an example of advanced civilization. In order for our community to have a healthy and clean environment, we must provide the services of this advanced wastewater treatment facility. We use water for all sorts of different tasks in our daily lives. Once this water is used, it must be drained to the wastewater treatment plant through larger and larger pipes located under the streets. Once at the treatment plant, we clean the water and return it to Cuga Lake. Prior to the construction of advanced wastewater treatment facilities such as ours, many communities suffered the disease and illnesses that were spread by bacteria not removed from wastewater. Besides preventing the spread of disease and illness by removing microbes, we also must remove excess nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus and tiny particles called suspended solids. Without that removal, these nutrients would cause excess growth of microorganisms within our lake community. There are water treatment plants in our community that supply us with potable water for our daily use. Once it is used and disposed of, it must be treated at our wastewater treatment plant. Do you know how many gallons of water you use in a day? The average member of our community uses between 80 and 100 gallons of water per day. A Maasai tribe member in sub-Saharan Africa only uses around 2 gallons of water per day. That's 40 times less water than what we use in a single day. All this water, once it is used and disposed of in our community, must be treated at the wastewater treatment plant. We treat on average about 7 million gallons of wastewater per day. In addition to all the wastewater we receive from the community through our drainage system, we also receive waste from trucks. This truck waste includes sanitary landfill leachate, septic system waste, and waste from different dairy processing facilities. In order to be sure that we don't introduce complex chemicals into Cuga Lake through the disposal of these trucked wastes, we have a source control program. Our source control program includes programs such as industrial pretreatment permit writing, safe medication disposal day participation, septic waste control through permitting, and individual assessments of many other wastes to be sure that they don't introduce anything that we can't handle into our treatment plant. Our facility was built in 1987 by the three communities that send their waste here. So we want to see how this stuff holds up. So as we move forward with these three communities participate in a special joint committee that oversees the operations, maintenance, and investment in our facility. This is an example of cooperation that is rare these days. And what is even more rare is that it works. I guess that's possible. This is an example of our advanced civilization participating in wastewater treatment. Each individual in this community has equal access to this facility, and it only costs them about 50 cents per day. Our facility is typical of many facilities throughout the nation. We mimic the natural environment within our treatment system to return treated water to the natural ecosystem. We do this through regulatory oversight by the Environmental Protection Agency, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, the New York State Department of Health through its NELAC Laboratory Certification Program. We consistently do this at a level much greater than what is required by the government agencies that regulate us. Please take some time to explore our interactive website you will find additional information, including diagrams, video clips, and other written explanations to help you understand more about wastewater treatment. I am now going to pass you to Ed Gottlieb. He is gonna take you on an extended tour of our facility and get into the nitty gritty details of wastewater treatment. This will explain how we take local wastewater and return it to the Cuga Lake environment.